Hi everybody and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler, where of course every day is a train show, and I know we have... Wait a minute, been, you, right. start over, it's been a minute, it's been a while, I know. start over, well, start you, over. You know what, it's been a minute because we've been doing one of the three things, alright? Alright, tell so us. So the first thing that Engineer Hall and I were doing was we were actually rescuing a bunch of orphans that went missing in like the northwest and we got a helicopter and we're searching in the mountains for them and it took a long time to find them but we actually did find them and now we're getting the presidential medals of freedom i feel so great I they know, get it, it done you know, so that's so great. the first option what we were doing number two uh the president actually appointed engineer hall and i to the council of model railroading and we went to guam to deliver a month-long seminar about the importance of having trains in your house and how it affects us in our daily lives and that's absolutely right model trains is very mm -hmm. important to us or the number three reason that we might have been uh you know a little bit busy uh just work yeah 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 it's, it's always something time. so it's one of those three things happen but we'll let you figure out which one it was hey we got a whole bunch of new things that we're going to talk about without any further hesitation we'll build the suspense build it build let's it. go all right so from walters here we have these 24 foot or cars. Let's check these guys out here. Now, I kept a lot of them in the boxes because they all pretty much look the same. But here is the Burlington Northerns. And these are really cool looking cars. I like the Burlington Northern ones because they have the little splash of yellow at the end. And these are really nice looking cars here. I mean, the ends here have the spring-loaded couplers. And then in the middle here, it's just regular dummy couplers here. But when you have a whole long or car train doesn't really matter because you're just going to connect those and you'll be good to go. I have here a couple of different row names here. And if I could read them, that would be great. This is the N, I'm sorry, the MT Taconite. This one here is the, oh gee, I don't even know which one that is. What do you think that is? Milwaukee, Milwaukee Road. Road. Got it. All right. This one here is the DMIR, and then here's another logo for the D DMIR. The Or car, I don't know why, it's just always been one of my favorite cars here. I do have nice metal wheels. I think things just glide. I mean, there's just something about seeing a nice, long Or car train. I think that's just a really sharp-looking consist there. It's always been one of my favorites. Now, you ready for the price, Engineer Hall? Tell me the price. All right. So, on our brand new website, which we talked about, we have these listed for $109.98, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler. For fifty five ninety nine. Say again. Fifty five ninety nine. You get four ore cars. Okay. So I mean, essentially, these are half price now. So you could get a whole bunch of them for the price of one. I mean, that'd be fantastic, right? You could build a whole unit chain of ore. You could build a whole ore train. There you go. I think it would be a great to have an ore train. So I don't know what you're waiting for. Coming down to Yankee Dabla and get these rolling today. You know, as I mentioned previously, we have revamped our website, so it's still. YankeeDabbler.com, but now we have a whole bunch of uh, neat features. We actually did a TikTok video. Do you know we're on TikTok, Engineer Hall? Yes, I know. I seen you on TikTok. I know. I am so TikTok famous. The other day, someone asked me if I was Chris Pratt, and then I said no, and then he sadly walked away. But you know, hey, we got a really neat thing happening on our website. Check it out. It looks great. It's a lot more user friendly, so I really think you're going to enjoy it. And some of the things that you can look up on our new website would be a couple of these new box cars that we got here. We got a Katie car here and we got a bowser car here and these are just nice looking cars here in engineer hall you know your favorite saying you can never have enough what box cars never have enough box cars right so the kd car here is actually uh selling for 35 dollars, and then the bowser car is selling for 29.95 so good deal to get on these cars here so if you need some box cars come check them out now i know we all have model railroads at home well guess what there is a uh, production uh, design company out there called Home Shops Limited. And what they did here is they took a couple of cars from Tangent and they took one from Rapido and they actually did cars based off of famous model railroads. And I have them here. These are kind of like kind of weird fantasy cars, but I think these are really neat. So check these out. So some of you might know these railroads here. We have here the Montana Northland. Mm -hmm. We have here the, oh boy, how do you say that one? N n that one? <laughs> the NVL. <laughs> this one's, I don't know why, I think this one's kind of funny. The Cat Mountain. The Tennessee Southern. I have a Rapido car here. This is the Quebec and New England. And. Yes, it's the most favorite one is all. Did you add that one? It goes with the set. Um. Okay, well, there's the Engineer E&H Railroad one. I don't remember that one, though. Oh, uh, you know it. 
Anyway, it's so, the one with the hump yard. These are just really neat cars here. I mean, I think they're really, I mean, first of all, Tangent makes a great car to begin with, so it does Rapido. But these are just kind of unusual. So, you know, we can always have, you know, Norfolk Southern, Santa Fe, whatever. But Cat Mountain gets something like that happen. This kind of make people be like, what's that? And I think it's really neat. Of course, if you're a fan of these model railroads, I'm sure they have stuff on YouTube. You can check them out. You get one to represent it. So the retail value of the Tangent cars, the Hopper cars, they uh, were selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $54.95. And for the Rapido box here, we're selling it for $52.49. And for the e &H box here, we're selling it for $200,000. Worth every penny. It also says one of one. Ooh, is it numbered? Yes, it's one of one. Ooh, okay. Well, hey, then if you want the EDH card, that might be what you want to go with. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get some fantasy happening on Guerrero today. All right, we got a new locomotive from N-Scale Land that Anakin Skywalker would not like because these have achieved the rank of master. That's right, they're train masters. Check these out here, all right? So these are the N-Scale train masters here, and I got seven variations for you. The first one is the Redding. Then I have here one of my favorites, the Jersey Central. I have here the Southern Pacific with the bloody nose. I have here a little short line known as the Pennsylvania. What? Wait a minute, why are you going the short line? I don't know, I just want to upset the Pennsylvania people. Yeah. Then I have here the Erie, and then the Erie Lackawanna. And then finally I have here the Canadian Pacific. Right. Now these are just really neat look at diesel locomotives here. And look, the Trainmaster is a unique looking engine. As you can see here, it kind of looks like it was one of the early diesel engines I eventually turned into some of the Jeep units, like the GP7 and I, etc. And they're just a really neat looking engine here, especially with the six wheel trucks. And guess what, Engineer Hall? What's up? Does that sound? It has sound? It goes beep, beep, ding, ding. Woo woo! Well, I, well no, that's the. That's a steam engine. Uh, oh, I'm yeah, sorry. sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Hong Kong? Hong Kong. Right. Uh, there you go. All right. So let's put one around the track and see what it sounds like. All aboard. All aboard. All right. So the Pennsylvania guys don't get too upset with me. We put the Pennsylvania one on the track. So all aboard. I like that startup. Here's the bell. Here's the horn. All right, Engineer Hall, which direction do you think is forward? Long hood or short hood? Ooh. Let's just say. Okay, I know which one is long hood. Long hood is sport. Long hood? Oh, long hood is sport. Right. I'm not going to pretend not to know. There you go. Sounds pretty good. Pretty good guy. Wow, it's a great sound diesel locomotive. I wonder what it would sound like if we had all seven of them going. Oh no. Look at that look.
Some of them have light at the number boards, Engineer Hall. That's pretty cool. Nice little feature to it. Now, of course, some of those engines, depending on the railroad, ran long hood forward or short hood. So it depends on which railroad you get. Now, I really like it. I think you need all seven of them because that's pretty cool. Now, the retail value of these engines is two forty nine ninety five, but we're selling here at Yankee Dabbler for one sixty nine ninety nine. So it's a great deal to get on a really great sounded diesel locomotive. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. So what are you waiting for? Get one, two, seven, fourteen. Get all of them today. So we haven't looked at some steam engines in a while, so we're going to look at one right now, and it's one of my personal favorites. Though I could probably say that about every steam engine. But this one I really like. This is from Broadway Limited, the Reading T1. And I kind of have a little historical uh, down the line, so to speak, of the Reading T1s here. Now, I have here the Reading 2100. This is painted in the Reading Rambles paint scheme. As you can see, it has the white wall wa uh, tires. It has the yellow hand railings. I always thought that was a sharp look here. Now, another version that Broadway Limited made was the Delaware and Hudson 302. This is a T1 that was decorated in a kind of masqueraded as a D&H engine to celebrate their bicentennial in 1973. So that's pretty cool. Speaking of bicentennials, here is the AFT number one. This was the American Freedom Train, of course, in 1976. Uh, great looking steam locomotive and actually they're restoring one to look like AFT number two. Did you know that Engineer Hall? No, but that's no. good information to it's know. It's actually got to call it AFT 250. Now right here we have the Chessy system. This was another special design after the Freedom Train. The Reading T1 was decorated to look like that. Awesome look. And then we have here one of the current iterations. Actually, this is the older iteration of the Reading Blue Mountain and Northern. Um, this was the Reading and uh, Blue Mountain and Reading at the time. But this is the 2102, which is the same engine that now operates out of Port Clinton on the Reading and Northern Railroad. And as you all know, I know that railroad quite well. Now, the Redding T1 is a 4A4 Northern. It is a great looking a steam locomotive here. And these are just really nicely designed here. Check this out here. Just all the detail that goes into these engines here. Everything is die cast metal, die cast tender, die cast boiler. This is just a great looking engine here. I really did enjoy the T1s. So There's something about those Redding uh, engines that really speaks out. I like the design. Guess what, Engineer Hall? What's that? It smokes, too. No. I know. I, that little guy smokes? I know. I've been telling it to cut back, but it's still, you know. It's still plus The habits are harder to break, you know? Oh, wow. So, let's get one of these engines on the rails and see if we can get it smoking up the, our store in no time. So, we're all American here at the Engineer Hall Show, so we're going to run the American Freedom Train. All America. America. That's right. Let's get started here, okay? If he was the Let's take a listen to that whistle. Bell? Sounds just like a bell. Oh boy.
Alright, high ball. All aboard America, here comes the fr look at the okay, whatever. What are you doing? Uh, well, I'm singing the song, I got excited. Now, that's a really great look at Steam Locum over there, and I have a bunch of different variations. Engineer Hall, can you hand me my sheet over there that contains all my special numbers? All right, so. The retail value of this steam locomotive is $449.99, but we're selling here in Yankee Dabbler for $359.99. Awesome deal to get on a steam locomotive in N scale that makes sounds, that smokes, that's all the fun stuff. I don't know what you're waiting for. Come get the Reading T1 in multiple variations rolling on your rails today. Per the agreement that Engineer Hall may be signed when we started, we have to show one HO engine per show. So here is a diesel for you from Scale Trains. I'm fulfilling your obligation, Engineer Hall. Well, thank you. Yep. All right. So let's take a look at these SD40-2s. And this is an XIGC locomotive here, or ICG, rather. That's pretty nice. That's a pretty cool looking engine. I like the little weathered look. Now I have the Sioux line here, or if you can't pronounce things, so. I have here the Rock Island. That's a really nice look there. Don't you like that one, Engineer Hall? Yeah, I like that one. Very good. You know, hey. This engine beats scissors every time. It does? Get it? You ready? Yep. You ready? One, two, three. See? Ah. It wins every time, all right? And then here I have the, uh, I have an ES44 AC, actually. This is the Iowa Interstate. That's a really cool looking engine that as well. I really did enjoy the design. Take a look at the front of this one, Engineer Hall. That is a great look there. Yes, it is. Now, these diesel locomotives are made by Scale Train, so it has all the Scale Train requirements or refinements, rather, that you have come to enjoy. I really like the design on this one, especially because you see this, see, this looks a little different. We see a lot of times railroads lease out engines or buy engines, and they don't have time or money at the time to repaint them, so they kind of look like this, and I think it's a really neat looking design here. I actually like, if you take a look at the Sioux line here, what is that there, Engineer Hall? That is the... Oh, there, a uh, reroll there. No, that's pretty cool. It's just a neat little addition that they put on these things here. Weatherization looks like on there. It looks like I got a beacon as well. So these are really great looking engines. And one of my favorite features that Scale Trains does, the wheels are painted. Painted wheels, Oh, yes. yeah, those are cool. So these are great engines. So Engineer Hall, which one do you want to see on the rails? Oh, you know what? Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors. Ready? All right, ready? One, two, three. Uh, One, two, three. Ha ha! Oh, get out of here. So the Rock Island is going to be our engine to the side. It's a good thing because we didn't have a paper island or a scissor island. Got the Rock Island on the track before we get it started out. Check out a little neat feature that they have there. If you see the marker lights there, if I hit number five on my keypad here, I can change the colors from green to red to white. And what's neat about it is if you notice they kind of fade in and fade out. They don't just go on and off. I think that's a really neat feature that they have there. All right, let's get started up. Let's listen to the bell. How about the horn? I like that horn. It sounds very accurate to me. Let's go.
Let's see if we latched up. All born. Cool. I really enjoyed that engine. And check this out. Ready? Ready? Like this. Ready? Ready? Hours of enjoyment. One, two, three, rock. One, two, three, rock. One, two, three, rock. See, I, I can never win, but it's a great looking diesel locomotive. Now these engines retail, um, or we're selling these engines rather for $299.95. Great deal to get on these diesel locomotives here. And as well, the ES44 AC is also the same amount as well. And this is a great look at diesel engine. Maybe we'll just run this real quick just so you have an idea what this one sounds like. Sound like a plant engine there, Hall? Let's do it. All right, let's see if only if this one agrees. So I turned the sound off so it's not going to work. One, two, three, beep. <laughs> Wow, what a lot of things we looked at in today's show. And let's do a recap of all of those awesome products. So we had here a couple of different cars here from Tangent. These are the fantasy uh, uh, model railroads that are out there. I got one from Rapido. I have the Engineer Hall one, which apparently is selling for 200 Gs. So yes, sir. Good luck with that one. And come to market too. Walthers, I had a whole bunch of those ore car sets here. I had from Atlas, I had these Train Masters. I have from Scale Trains, I had an ES44, and I had these SD40s. From Broadway Unlimited, I had my Renning T1s here, and then of course I had a couple of Bowser. I had a Bowser car, I had a KD car here. Man, we have a, kind of one of everyone right here. <laughs> All right, but you know what? If you're looking for something that we didn't showcase in today's show, that's all right. You can just go to our website, yankeedabbler.com, type in what you're looking for there, and you'll see what you want so we can get it shipped, sent to you, so you can have not just one, not just two, but literally millions of hours of entertainment. So, I mean, what are you waiting for? Priceless. I know, it's priceless, right? All right, and speaking of priceless, we are doing something here for the month of April to celebrate our new website being launched. If your order is over $300, we'll give you free shipping. All right, shipping prices are pretty crazy. Anything over $300, we're going to give you free shipping. So make sure you note that. All right, now... Last time we were here on the show, I was talking about how I was moving into a new place and I was having a new train layout. Did you build it? Well, we're in the planning stages right now. Things coming. You know, the wife wants to do things like, I don't know, set up the bedrooms, you know, silly stuff like well, that. Well, hold on a second, but congratulations to you for getting a new home. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. And you know what I've been doing is I've been asking some of the guys that work here to give me designs on what they think my layout should be. Mm -hmm. So we saw Christian's last time. It was just a circle. Yeah. So I asked Ken to give me his design. Um... Wow. So explain this one to me. He thinks most of this should be the train room. Yeah. The bedrooms there, the bathrooms there, and the kitchens there. Hey. Um it's all space you need. I want to know how we do these zigzag track patterns. This is um I think that's the wiring. It's a little complicated. No, he told me that's the track. I thought this this the wiring, yeah, I, that's the I, track. I don't look at like zig that, that this is just very confusing. So this is in the maybe pile. 
All right, anywho, so that is uh, our show for today. We're going to conclude with a real fan video. We're going to take a look at the real Reading team. Well, we're going to take a look at Reading 2102 at the Reading and Northern Railroad here so you can see that the real engine looks very similar to what the model is. So I hope you all enjoy that. All right, so if you excuse me now, i got to go uh, find Ken and have him explain this layout. Oh, wait, Ken, come here, come here. Dude, this is your layout that you want me to do? Yeah. Okay, explain this to me. Is this even possible? No, not really. So why would you give this to me as a suggestion? Just to see if you do it. Ha. People I work with. Get over here.